Hey Siri, send a message to my Galaxy friend. What do you want to say? Hey, I know you have the Galaxy AI, but we now have contextual awareness with the all new Siri in iOS 18.1 beta 4. Stick around for this video because this is going to be one of the biggest features you've ever seen for iOS. So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. iOS 18.1 beta one was released today and the Apple intelligence feature is now available. If you're wondering who my galaxy friend was in the intro, that's my other galaxy phone. I made that aware to you because while Samsung has had galaxy AI for a while, it's time now for Apple to bring out the intelligence and it starts here in beta. Now this is for registered developers only and it's really designed for developers to test these features out so it's more polished and refined before the official does come. Now you'll see that there's gonna be new Siri features as you've seen in the beginning, how it glows around the phone. That is pretty awesome. Looks something like straight out of the future right there. You're also gonna have some new contextual features as well in there where you can talk to Siri in ways that you never could before whereas they'll understand context now, that is amazing. Also, the new Mail app will be updated. We're gonna go through these here, but when you download this beta right here, you will have to go ahead and join the wait list. That's why my video is coming out a little bit later than usual today. I had to wait a few hours for this to come on the phone and I had to prepare this video. I actually wasn't expecting this to come today. Um, I was expecting this to come tomorrow, but it ended up coming today. Um, so yeah, that's how you're gonna get this on. You'll go into settings, scroll down to Apple Intelligence, and join the wait list. As you can see right here, iOS 18.1, and then if we go to our about, you'll see iOS 18.1, 22B5007P. Now it says right there, iOS 18.1 is early preview of the Apple intelligence. So this is kind of like the software that might come as the phones come out or maybe slightly after. This is really meant for developers to get ready, get these things ready, you know, for this, this iOS 18 Apple intelligence. But what's all new here, we'll begin with the Siri. So Siri, you've seen in the intro, does announce, uh, has a glow now, but you can talk to it more contextually. So let me show you what that kind of looks like. Weather for Los Angeles. It's currently clear and so Wait a minute, Siri. I actually need to know the humidity in Los Angeles. Hey Siri, tell me the humidity actually. The humidity is currently 75%. But I also need the wind speed. Give me the wind speed for this area. The wind in Los Angeles, California is at eight miles per hour south so you've seen, that was actually a perfect example because I wanted to talk about how you've seen that it doesn't understand literally every context, but it can definitely tell that you were still asking it about the weather. Um, and it, it knew that I wanted the wind speed for that area. It knew I wanted the humidity. And while certain sentences may have been too long for it to understand, we're in the very early stages. And this is promising because in the future, you'll be able to talk to this nearly like you would talk to a human being. And this thing would was likely going to be able to talk to you very well. You'll also be able to do things like, how tall is the Willis Tower? The Willis Tower is 1,400. But wait a minute, where is this located? Where is it located? Okay, here's what I found. So they show me exactly where it's located. And you'll see, again, it missed some of the context, but it got it correct if I asked it a little bit more simply. So I think those more longer sentences, it's going to need some work. It's still in beta. But you can see it definitely can understand context now. A super amazing new feature here um, with the all-new Siri and the glow just looks amazing. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at it in the full darkness. I'm going to hit the lights really quick. Give me a second. Sure. One more time. How's it going, Siri? I'm pretty good. Me too. All right. So another on-device feature here is going to be the new writing tools such as rewrite, proofreading, and summarize. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So if you click that right there, you'll see that new writing tool section right there. You can click that, but also if you highlight certain things like uh, some text right here, for example, you'll see the Apple intelligence right here. You'll also see that it says proofread or rewrite 
right there. So let's go ahead and click this, and then a big section of this will pop up. You'll see we can go ahead and click summary, and this will kind of read this and give you a quick summary. So I wrote a whole paragraph about this Apple intelligence, and they broke it down in one sentence. Made it very simple to understand. Apple's new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will feature groundbreaking intelligence. Pretty dope. Also, you can make it more friendly or professional, more concise. Um, so depending on who you're sending this to, it could really help you out. Like, for example, if you're writing something to somebody and you need it to sound more professional, it'll analyze that for you on device and it'll give you a more of a professionally written version. So now my paragraph has been written more professionally. Um, so if you have troubles with writing professionally, that can be very helpful. Let's revert back to mine. And you can see you can also do rewrite right here. And it'll do this for you as well. Give it a second. And you'll see now it rewrote that for me, maybe a little bit more grammatically correct, a little bit better. Who knows? You'll have to read it over and see if you like it. Or you can always just revert back. But those are some of the new writing tools in iOS 18.1 beta one and the new Apple intelligence is the reason this is able to be done. Now you'll need a 15 pro or a pro max or any of the upcoming 16s to be able to run these new features though. Do keep that in mind. So within mail, we now have categorization up here. It'll show you priority mail and stuff like that. But once you're in the mail, you can also summarize your emails as well. All right, so let me showcase this to you here. So you hit summarize right there. All right, so we hit summarize and you see instead of reading the email to give me a quick summary of what this is about. Now, I'm not going to be doing this for most marketing emails like this, but definitely I'll be doing this for some, you know, regular emails from clients and stuff like that to make it a lot easier to go ahead and read. So this is pretty dope. I think if you want to make your email experience a, a little bit quicker, a little bit easier to understand, especially those emails that are long and drug out, you don't got time to read the whole thing. This can really help out. Right, also within photos, I'm not going to be able to showcase it now because the phone is still indexing for me, but you'll be able to ask things um, contextually in natural language in the photos app. So you'll be able to ask it like things like, show me a picture when I was in this car. Also, I forgot to mention in mail on the Apple intelligence, there are also smart replies now. So when you're replying, it will kind of give you a suggestion of what to write out uh, based on the AI, Apple intelligence. However, this has already been seen in apps like Gmail before, so it's not going to be new if you've used Gmail, but it's new if you are using the Apple Mail app. Smart replies are making their way here as well. Pretty nice. Also, the Apple intelligence is going to bring auto summarize notifications. So it'll give you summaries and breakdowns, especially when you have multiple. I only got a couple here. But when you have multiple notifications, it will summarize those for you, make it a lot more clean, especially the message is a lot longer and stuff like that. So that's a great new touch as well for this Apple intelligence. Right. So within this Apple intelligence, you also have the ability to record calls um, over here. You can see call recording. So now you'll use the phone app to go ahead and record the call, save it to the notes app. So you get a transcription as well. Um, and it'll let them know as well that you're going to be recording. I'm going to end it there because I'm not trying to record in this video, but you definitely can see view the save call. Well, I'm not going to go ahead and record it in this video, but you can see view saved call. There's not going to be any text because I had already ended the call, but call recording now making its way to iPhone with Apple intelligence while using the intelligence to transcribe what was said is pretty amazing if you ask me, but you better be careful about what you say on the phone because now people do have the ability to go ahead and record the calls. Of course, it's going to tell you so you'll know, but still, you got to be careful with that. Um, definitely, if you're going to use that, use it responsibly in the future when this does become available. But um, that's just a new feature coming to iOS 18.1 with the Apple Intelligence. So RCS has been available already, so that's here. But I wanted to show the emojis to talk about Genmoji, the image generation that is going to be coming with Apple Intelligence. That's not here yet, so you're still going to have to wait for that. This is mostly the Siri, the smart replies, the proofreading, the writing tools. That's essentially what is here today with Apple Intelligence. And so th that's pretty much what I wanted to showcase in this video. I thought those features were pretty exciting call recording, writing tools, uh, new mail enhancements, the amazing new Siri. These are all built on device, and you're going to need a 15 Pro or Pro Max or higher. 
But what they're really going to do is make your iPhone a lot smarter than it used to be. Because before, it was just um, just a regular smartphone. And some people were even getting to the point where they were saying iPhone's not even a smartphone anymore because all these other phones are smarter with their intelligence features. Also, you'll be able to summarize any text on device as well. I forgot to mention Another that. new feature with the app intelligence is in focus mode. Let's go over here and you can see we now have the reduce interruptions focus mode using device intelligence, reduce interruptions, which analyzes the contents of notifications and only interrupts you when deemed important. Share with your friends. You have notifications silenced. You can turn on a custom lock screen scheduled to turn on automatically. You can customize that focus. So yeah, the reduce interruptions, pretty cool. This is um, going to give you intelligent breakthrough and silencing. So uh, I think that's nice, especially for those who really utilize and use the focus modes. I do sometimes for sure. So I'll take a dive into that, but definitely a nice new enhancement with the AI. In Safari, let's say I'm reading an article, this one from The Verge. If I go ahead and hit summarize, I can go ahead and summarize this text and it'll give me a quick summary right there within the reader mode, a pretty nice enhancement as well. I love the reader mode, but sometimes I'm just scrolling and scrolling and I'm like, this is too much reading for this article, I'm out of here. So definitely, I'm gonna really take advantage of that summary feature for reader mode in Safari. So within privacy and security on here, you also do have quite a few features, but down here, take a look, you'll see Apple Intelligence Reporting down there. So this is gonna allow you to uh, use Apple Intelligence for analyzing personal data, uh, definitely when using the Apple Intelligence. So that's another new feature with the AI here. When I say AI, I mean Apple Intelligence. Also, when you have type to Siri on, you can see the way it looks is a lot newer. It's got like this little glowing effect. So just wanted to showcase that. Also pretty cool here with the Apple Intelligence. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. This is a game changing update for the iPhone coming here in the fall of 2024. Contextual awareness with the, when the way you talk to Siri, all the built-in Apple intelligence stuff is gonna really push the iPhone forward. And while other phone makers have already been putting AI features on board, um, this one is deeply integrated within the ecosystem on the iPhone. It's gonna play very well with iPads, Macs, and Apple devices. So as you're doing all of this stuff here, you'll be able to easily um, use it on other products as well within the ecosystem. So that's how they're gonna separate themselves, I feel like in this intelligence feature, whereas other phones will just have it on the phone and then it's not necessarily as good on the watch or something else. Um, so that's where I look to see Apple really separate themselves. But let me know what your thoughts are on the Apple intelligence, everything that's new. Are you interested? Are you excited about this? And what are you looking forward to seeing going forward? Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We got all kinds of content coming soon, including the iPhone 16 series and continuing coverage here on iOS 18. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. <music>